I'm ready for my picture, Mr. DeMille. Oh, just when the bells are ringing. <laughs> what is that? Wow. <laughs> we'll just wait for that to stop. What a way to start the day. <laughs> How perfect. We've really enjoyed our evening at our accommodation last night. We met this wonderful lady, her name is Jean, she's from New Mexico. So we had some company, otherwise it would have been just Lonesome Peter and I. We thought we were the only ones in the house. Today we have 21.1 kilometres. We're off to Castajeres, where we will be crossing another part of the Meseta. So it's going to be quite a flat surface. We don't have any towns until we get halfway and hopefully we'll be able to stop and have a coffee somewhere. Anyway, let's get cracking and because it's quite a cool morning, we'll see you somewhere on the walk. Jojo's looking for a quote of the day. Well, my quote is, apart from cold hands, I am feeling okay. Well, it is a bit chilly this morning. So, let's hope it warms up. Uh, well, people say there's boring bits on the Camino. Nothing boring about the Meseta. The views are fantastic as we're walking along. I must say the downside is when you're walking along freeways or roads, they tend to be a little boring. Otherwise, all good. We've just stopped at a cafe in Fontana and we're with Marcus from Switzerland and we keep bumping into him along our journey and we're so glad we ran into him today because he's been with us Since from the beginning. Day one. Correct. So we hope to be bumping into him many more times during the journey. I hope so too. That's two so lovely, sweet men. I like them very, very much. The most beautiful couple on the way, I'm telling you. <laughs> What's there not to like, Marcus? And you're just as lovely as well. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, what is, what is Peter's going to come in? Mutual this? Admiration Society. <laughs> Buen Camino. Buen Camino.
Con camino. Con camino. The ruins of Saint Anton, 14th century. This monastery was once the hospice of the Antonine Order founded in France in the 11th century and connected to the work of the hermit Saint Anthony of Egypt, Saint Anton Abad, patron saint of animals and usually depicted with a pig at his feet. The order's sacred symbol was the T-shaped cross known as the Tau. 19th century letter of the Greek alphabet and symbolizing divine protection against evil and sickness. We're gonna go this way. Yep. Pull away. Lemone Cervaza.
Hola. Hola. We finally got here and checked in. Our lovely little hotel room for the night is quaint and lovely compared to what we've had over the last few nights. It has an old time look of Spanish regality about it. We put our things down and decided why don't we take a walk up to the castle up the top of the hill? So we did. And then we scrambled up one of the tracks and we spent some time at the castle. Came down and we went to the audio visual in a church, which gave us an insight into the Pellegrinos that walk the way. And we learnt about Charlemagne and Roland and the conversion to Christianity and how they slayed the Moors and the Muslims. It explained also the journey of the pilgrim and how that if you're open to spiritualism, you will find it. Your pilgrim's passport is your identity on the way to Santiago. Well, that's all from us today. And we shall see you on the walk tomorrow, a brand new day and a brand new adventure. That's all, folks. Adios. Bye. Bye.